Well, back here at the cutter grinder, a fellow sent me a really nice um, flared cup wheel. And this is it here. It's a Norton SG. And uh, it's been used, so I <laughs> rang test it and let it run on the spindle for a while. And one of the things that I like to do, and I think it's helpful, is to uh, chew up a wheel as best you can. And I've got a couple of um, dressing sticks, and this one here is a national, and it, it works okay, but it, this is a little piece of round Norbite from the Norton Company, and this apparently works a lot better. I think it does. So I took him uh, with the diamond dresser here, went across and got the face running true, but the inside and the outside aren't running true. Oh, maybe 10, 15 thousandths off. And that does cause vibration that affects surface spinning. So I'm taking a, the uh, dressing stick and I cut a vacuum right here that's quite effective. It's an old filter queen. And I'm not kidding, it's a powerful uh, vacuum cleaner with uh, uh, some internal filtering. And it captures um, the carbide and uh, the aluminum oxide grid. This aluminum oxide here or SG seated gel. So I'm, I'm running this on the inside here until this smooths out. And I'm finding the Norbite seems to work better to do that. And of course something that runs true, this makes it run true. Oh, this is working pretty good now. It seems like the Norbite uh, was good at getting the worst of it out. So, I'm truing the inside, flared cup wheel, tapered on the inside, get it right on that edge there. And I'm also truing uh, the back side, and I'm using the edge of this guard, and I'm working the back side so I can be sure. This vacuum is catching almost all of that. So I'm working the back side of the wheel using the, uh, the guard as a guide because I can't see it very well or hardly at all. And I'll use the Norbite first. And as you can see, uh, the aluminum oxide. I'm just going to kind of pet the back of it until it feels smooth. Just going from back to front here, maybe a little front to back. And it's starting to feel quite a bit smoother back there. And I, and I believe that uh, the wheel is running smoother. I'll go back to this square stick here. It seems to work good after hitting uh, with that Norby. This might be a little finer. Okay, I think that's darn good. Feels good. Okay, well, I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm uh, fiddling around with drill bits here and uh, trying some different things to get them to run true. And I got a, um, a drill bit. You can grab drill bits by the margins with uh, Ericsson Collins. So uh, I'm going to see how this works, this little setup, and uh, I'll be back. But uh, anyway, I got, a, I got a wheel running true here. There we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 